Charlie, uh, interesting. You're kind of getting lumped, um, lumped in with uh, some of the peer group today. It doesn't sound like your customer base is uh, nearly as negative on their IT budgets. No, it's certainly true. I mean, we raised, uh, you know, we had a great quarter in Q2. We raised for uh, next quarter and the year as a whole. So, you know, we're seeing very strong demand and an increasing pipeline. Uh, curious as to the market response today, but uh, I think you're right. It's just uh, uh, tied into the larger macro. Right. Now, now speaking of macro, you are you do carve out uh, some part of the conversation uh, to focus on Europe. And there you say the challenges maybe are a bit more acute. Well, uh, not from a demand standpoint. We're seeing very good demand uh, in Europe. And in fact, uh, you know, we have probably, uh, you know, the most uh, um, environmentally um, uh, sensitive uh, product in the world. We use far less energy, far less power, far less space than everybody else. And that's uh, at a premium in Europe right now. So we're actually expecting to see, uh, you know, coming out of some of the energy sensitivity over there, some uh, really good demand. Uh, morning, Charlie. What, what are you seeing in demand from the hyperscalers, there's so much um, a, pick, uh, a part of the buying picture right now. And if they were to just, as I was saying earlier, push away from the table and say they're full, could have a big impact on a lot of companies. It could. We're, we're, uh, hyperscalers are not a big part of our demand, uh, relatively small. We, uh, we do sell a lot into the cloud, primarily SaaS and, and uh, managed service providers, uh, non uh, the cloud service providers, but not the top three. Uh, what we're seeing, we continue to see actually good demand out of the SaaS space. Charlie, okay, those are the hyperscalers, but what about some of the smaller players? And, um, you know, I think it's a good question because earlier this week, Seagate said that their weakness went beyond the legacy segment into some U.S. cloud customers. They didn't say which, though. You know, it's interesting, uh, magnetic uh, disk demand, uh, and most of that market now is, in fact, in the uh, hyperscalers. A lot of it's come out of consumer, and a lot of it's come out of enterprise. You know, our, our market is, uh, that is the flash market, is really about replacing magnetic disk. Uh, and we're starting to see that as, as uh, flash continues to, to decline in price relative to magnetic disk, we're replacing more and more of it. And uh, so actually, I think, you know, it's a tale of two different uh, cities entirely. Uh, the the uh, reduction of magnetic is generally good for us. Uh, we see uh, great demand coming from the mid-tier of the magnetic market. What are you seeing heading into Q4, which typically sees uh, a spike in consumption? Is that trending as it normally does, just the, the sense of you're getting uh, in, in data center demand? It, it, it actually is. We're seeing, you know, an increase in our pipeline. You know, we're, as I said, we're seeing very good demand through the rest of the year. Uh, you know, while uh, uh, deal cycles have lengthened a little bit, but on the flip side, there's been no demand destruction and the demand actually is increasing from what we're seeing.